thus far, I've really enjoyed it. I mean, I've been around the game my whole life. I've uh, grown up in the gym from the time I was two years old. My mom had me in there doing defensive slides. So I feel like it's just it's just been who I am. You know, I got away from it, but I had to find my identity in it again, you know, and find my passion for it and my drive. And, and, and this is my passion. I'm following my passion. It's all I've ever known. I've grown up in the gym. I feel like it's it's been a second home. Um, watching my mom coach from the time I was, you know, born. Um, me and all my sisters played. We're all two years apart. I'm the oldest of four girls. My dad's a football coach. So school in general has been my life. Coaching, I've watched coaches, you know, two of the best coaches I've ever known are my parents. Um, and I, I model myself after them. And I've been fortunate and blessed enough to have great college coaches, great AAU, um, you know, growing up like that. It's just, it's been a part of who I am. And, and, and it's always been more than just a game for me. Um, it's, it's, it's been my life and um, taught me a lot of life lessons. So in that, um, I just love it. And I hope to make a great impact on these girls that everybody in my life has made on me and made me, you know, a part of who I am today. Well, I wasn't gonna make the WBA, <laughs> that wasn't me, but you know, it, my even my college, my college coach, my college assistant coach, um, my parents, they all, my mom always said like, you're gonna be a coach, you're gonna be a coach, why don't you do it? And I was like, no, no, I'm not gonna do it. So I got out of graduated college with an exercise science degree and I was like, I'm not gonna coach. I, you know, I need a break. I've, I've done this my whole life. You know, I just needed a break. So I, I ended up here in Saudi Daisy, worked at State Farm. Um, after a year, I decided, you know, something's missing. What, what's missing? Decided to go back to school at Lee University and get my master's in education to teach PE and health. Um, and then I was constantly looking to get back into coaching. Me and my mom coached an AAU team this past spring, rising uh, seventh graders. I absolutely loved it. I, I knew this is exactly what I wanted to do. I love working with kids. I love, you know, making a difference in their life. And that's most important. That's the most important thing you can do is give back to these girls is making a difference in their life. Being a good role model, you know, that's more important always more than wins and losses for me. Um, that's how I was taught. That's how I was raised. And it will always be the relationship factor and peace that is bigger for me than it is wins and losses. You know, I'm, I'm very competitive. I don't like to lose. They know that. But... It, it, it's still a relationship factor. And so, you know, I had to find it myself. And so when this job came open, I was ready. I wanted it. You know, and I talked to them about this the other day. Um, toughness, you know, I, I, you can win a lot of basketball games with just toughness, attitude, effort. You know, we may not be the most athletic, most talented, most skilled, but we're gonna be the toughest team. We are going to be the toughest team, and I want our identity when people play us, like I told them, to be the toughest, scrappiest, most aggressive team. You know, um, I, I want I want to be the team that plays the hardest. Okay, that does the little things, that does the do the guts things, takes charges, dives after loose balls, gets extra rebound, hits their free throws when they're tired, doesn't give in to fatigue. I want to be that team. So that's where I'm trying. What I'm trying to build. You know, and it's going to take time to build that culture, to build, build that family, you know, grit, toughness environment. But these girls, they're getting it. They've worked their butts off from the time that I got there in May. The, there's been vast improvement, and I am so proud of them. Tomorrow's our last day of preseason, so and then we start practice on Monday, and I could not be more excited. I know they're excited, and there's going to be a lot of good things coming this season. You know, we're going to go through ups and downs, but that's part of it. You gotta learn from your mistakes. You gotta grow from them. Um, well, Katie is, I'm a senior, so Katie's my third coach uh, for high school, and she's brought a lot of newness to the table, and uh, I'm just excited to get in and play and see how, you know, we have put in a lot of work over the summer, and how we're gonna come in and show that, how that so, we're not the same play as your team that we used to be that this is, this is new and it's not going to be the same anymore. We're starting to build and that we're ready to make a statement. It's been amazing. I love her. Um, she brings out the best in all of us. Um, 
I think that like our work ethic is completely different now than it was last year. Like we all just like as a team have changed so much since she came in and like we just want to do our best and strive to do our best every day. And I'm just really excited to see what this season has in store for us. We've done a lot of post work, like post moves and stuff like that, that I didn't have skill-wise last year. So I'm really excited to be able to use that when it comes time to play. Um, just like my basketball IQ overall has just grown so much since May. And I'm just, I keep saying I'm excited, but I'm just really excited for the season to finally start, yeah. Uh, I'm going to build off what Becca said because it's it's very true. We've put in a lot of time, um, especially as posts, like we've learned a lot of new um, just things that we could do. But I think one thing that has definitely trenched over or we've grown on is like our mindset. We have mentally became tougher. Katie's challenged all of us, I would say, in that area and that we are growing and we're going to continue to grow on that. Nacho cheese. Cool ranch, nacho cheese. <laughs> Woo. You know what I love? I love watching them do shell drill. I love watching them move defensively. That's probably one of my favorites because I start blowing that whistle and that point and they move. Don't you? Yes. I like the the green light drill. Green light shooting. That, that one, green light shooting is my favorite. I like the sprint to close out and yeah. Cookies and cream? Uh, lemon custard. <laughs> Cookie dough. One of my favorite shows, ooh, one of my all-time favorite shows, and this is funny, we're in football season, is Friday Night Lights. <laughs> one of my favorites is probably Grey's Anatomy. I've been watching Dexter a lot with my dad. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I follow MTSU, obviously. Go Blue Raiders and go Lady Balls. My mom played there. My dad, you know, walked on football there. So that's close to home. So both of those two. And shout out to Lipscomb. My youngest sister plays basketball at Lipscomb University. So I've got three Tennessee schools that, you know, I cheer hard for it and always want them um, to be successful. I'm probably more college, I would say. I watch, I watch a lot of college more, like the Lady Vols. We've always went to games since I was a kid, and we love it. Yeah, I keep up with the Vols and um, Louisville. Uh, we're looking forward to a good year here locally, to be honest with you. Create, uh, you know, we used to have some tradition of rivalries around here between Hicks and Saudi, Red Bank. Uh, Central. So we're looking forward to that, being in a new district and those opportunities of creating those community rivalries again is one big thing since we've been traveling so much the past four years, past, past few years. So we're really looking forward to being back home some and uh, creating a better rivalry environment around our community and stuff. Well, it's obviously hard to replace the player we had last year, Logan Ricketts, he played for us ever since he was a freshman. Uh, but we're looking, a lot, we have a lot of guys that have stepped up to the challenge on their own. He was a great leader and they followed in his shadow for many years. But now they're looking forward to their opportunity and their time to uh, not necessarily fill his shoes, but, but carry on what he started and carry on the things that he did for us. You know, my, my foundation, my philosophy always stays the same. We're always going to play hard. We're going to be, always be disciplined. And uh, we're always going to get better day by day. We're going to continue that process, but we always change for our, uh, we always adapt to the staff we have, to the players we have. Uh, we may be bigger one year, we may have more guards one year. But our philosophy this year is, is we're going to play tough man to man defense. We're going to uh, run motion offense, and we're going to, uh, possibly press some in times when we need to. But our foundation and everything is, is obviously we're going to play hard, we're going to be disciplined, and we're going to take advantage of the other team mistakes. Well, our goal, first of all, is to win 20 games. We set that goal at the beginning of the year and uh, is to win 20 games. And also, uh, second goal is to get to the region tournament. That's the second goal we want to. But 
we want to uh, obviously better be better in February. So that's why we play throughout Christmas and we play throughout Thanksgiving. And our goal is to get better day by day. Uh, to look at our mistakes we made, realize tomorrow's a new day, and uh, try to not make the same mistakes, but uh, avoid the mistakes we made the day before. Uh, it feels really good to have uh, five seniors. Uh, I mean, I've come up with them since freshman year. We've built a connection that not a lot of people can say that they have. So it feels uh, really good that I'll be able to share the, share the court with them this year. Um, just to play one last year with all my teammates. Uh, we're all really excited about this year and feel like with this team, we can do something special that we necessarily couldn't have done in previous years. You know, I'm most excited about, you know, just building up to my senior year and trying to get the most wins we can possibly get for the last seniors this year. I mean, this is a big year for us. We have a lot of potential and I think uh, we can make something happen this year. Uh, well, I mean, he's a dad at home, but he's a coach on the court. It's no different than uh, any other coach would be. I mean, he's harder on me sometimes, but I take it, and uh, I like I like that he's harder on me. Uh, you know, my inside game, driving and stuff. I mean, I think my shooting game is pretty good, but I want to be uh, have more more ways to go and not just be a shooter. So I'm trying to be an all-around player this year and uh, show what I have. Um, last year I felt like I needed to take control of the game more and handle the ball more. So this year I'm going to be the uh, leader and uh, ball handler and just um, find my teammates wherever they are and try to uh, do everything right. Cool Ranch Doritos. Cool Ranch Doritos. Cool Ranch Doritos. Eighty and two thirty. Eighty layups in two thirty two minutes and thirty seconds. Pralines pecan. Uh chocolate. Cookies and cream. I don't watch TV. <laughs> um, the one I just finished watching was probably uh, Game of Thrones. 30 for 30. I'm a Roll Tide fan. Go Alabama. Auburn Tigers, Four Eagle. Duke Blue Devils, baby.